Hello, sports fans. It's me, sportsman Bob Zolke. And today we're here with the third and final game of the matchup between the 1909 White Sox and the 1982 Seattle Mariners. The uh, Mariners are at home. The series is 1-1 so far, and we go into the third game where, as you can see on the screen right here and right here, Ed Walsh, Big Ed Walsh, will be going up for the White Sox. And pitching for the 1982 Mariners will be a Gaylord Perry, the spitballer. So, without further ado, let's get on with the game. So, we've got uh, Isbell leading off for the... Uh, I think it's Frank Isbell leading off for the White Sox against Perry. And he hits the ball at short. Let's see if Cruz can play it. And he does. That brings up Parent. And he's going to ground out. And that brings up Patsy Doherty. And he is going to hit another ground ball at the shortstop. And he got him. So the White Sox go one, two, three there in the first. And we have uh, Ed Walsh pitching for the White Sox against Joe Simpson. And he strikes Joe Simpson out. I would expect nothing less. Um, Manny Castillo is going to hit a home run. Are you kidding me? Maybe, but probably. Hey, what happened? Yep. Manny Castillo hits a home run off Big Ed Walsh. I mean, that should be illegal. That should be like, it can't possibly happen. Now there's a ground ball at Pertel, and of course, the White Sox have terrible fielders, and so they do allow him on, on base. So now he's pitching to Rich, Richie Zisk, who flies out. So the Mariners have two down in the first, but they do have a one nothing lead. So the White Sox are going to have to get at least two runs to win the game. And Cowens is up, and he grounds out. But on an unlikely Manny Castillo home run, the White the uh, Mariners take a one nothing lead, and Altizer is going to ground out against Gaylord Perry. That brings up Pertel, and Pertel hits a single. So there's one down, one on for the White Sox. That brings up Doc White, and Doc White strikes out. I mean, this Gaylord Perry card is not the greatest card. So we should, you would hope, be able to put something together later on but, but we got rick sweet up for the man rick sweet gets a single off big ed walsh this is just not really even real life so uh let's see we're gonna hold him oh no i guess we were holding him and now he's down to 10 percent so he can be going anywhere and then uh mailer jim mailer gets a ground ball b <clears throat> So now Mailer will be at first with Todd Cruz, the shortstop, up at the plate, and he strikes out. Two down. And it brings up Julio down by the schoolyard Cruz, and he's going to strike out. So they get the Mariners get a man aboard in the second, which is also very unlikely. But he doesn't score, so they still maintain a one nothing lead with Owens striking out to lead off the White Sox third. Cole is up. I don't even know this guy. I don't think he appeared in the other two games. He hits a fly ball to Cowens. Let's hope he drops it or something. But he's not going to. And Isbell, come, we come back to Fred Isbell, Frank Isbell, and he gets a single. And that brings up Parent. And Parent walks. So now we got two on. We got a little bit of a rally going. We got two aboard with two down and Patsy Doherty up. And he's out. So the White Sox can't get the tying run there. 
despite threatening a little bit. Simpson leading off for the uh, Mariners in the bottom of the third, and he will be out on a ground ball. Manny Castillo, who has accounted for the Mariners' only run, strikes out. And Bruce Bakhti is going to foul out to the catcher. So the Mariners get no runs there. They don't even get anybody aboard, which would be most of what I would expect from Walsh pitching. But anyway, Altizer is up for the... Um, for the White Sox, and he gets a single, so he's aboard. Uh, I'm going to try to steal 80%. Let's see if we can keep it. 50, I'm still going to do it. No, nope, he's gone. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I had to try it because we can't get anything going. Single for Patel, so that probably was a mistake. But we really should have our chances in this game, you would think. Doc White gets a uh, fly ball to center field. So there's two down in the top of the fourth with a man aboard. And that's up at the plate. And he hits a fly ball to left. And that's Bakhti, who's a four. So let's see if he can misplay it. Probably not, though. No, he doesn't. So we're out. Of the fourth inning, we go to the bottom of the fourth. The Mariners still with a one nothing lead. Zisk goes down on strikes. Al Cowens strikes out. So uh, Walsh struck out the first two men he's faced here in the fourth, and then Rick Sweet comes up, and he is going to be out. So we go to the top of the fifth, still down a run. Owens up at the plate, ground ball to Todd Cruz. It's short. Let's see if he can misplay it. No. Cole is up, and Cole is going to be out. He lines out. And that brings up Frank Isbell, and he is going to be out. So Gaylord Perry continues to shut down the 1909 White Sox here. With Jim Mailer up at the plate, and he singles off of Big Ed Walsh. So the Mariners have a man aboard with no outs, and Todd Cruz up, and that's going to be a pass ball, looks like. Which allows Mailer to go to second, and Cruz up at the plate, and he... Jose Cruz... Oh, no, that was an out. Okay. So... Jose Cruz walks, so now there's two on with one out, and Simpson up at the plate, and he strikes out. So he's over three on the day, and that brings up Manny Castillo, and Manny Castillo walks. Manny Castillo has been a thorn in Big Ed Walsh's side, and Bakhti is up, and he strikes out. So the Mariners come away again with no runs there. They still maintain the one nothing lead. And that brings up Parent. And Parent is going to hit a ground ball at Mailer. He's a four, so let's see if he can misplay it. No. Nobody on this Mariners team is misplaying anything. So Patsy Daugherty gets a walk, though. Again, he's... I'm going to try to steal him because, I mean, we can't get... We can't string hits together. I'm going to still try it at 50%. No, it still does not work. So that's going to be two down with all ties are up. And he hits a double one to ten. It's a double. Man, he might have scored. God. But, I mean, yeah, I'm going on the evidence I have. that We just cannot seem to hit Perry consistently. So Pertel is up at the plate. He hits a single, so this might score all ties. And it does. So we do tie the game, thankfully. My mistakes have not led us to. At least we've got a... A tie game, and now we got two runners on board as Doc White walks. And that brings up Atz, and he strikes out. But we do manage to tie the game at least, and it looks like Big Ed Walsh ain't going anywhere. So he gets a uh, Richie Zisk to ground out. 
Al Collins comes up and he flies out. And that brings up Rick Sweet. And he grounds out. So the Mariners get nothing there. And I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to do the similar thing that I've done. Trying to steal Patsy Doherty if he gets on again. Owens is up at the plate. And he grounds out. We're here in the seventh. Top of the seventh. Cole is up at the plate. And he lines out. I mean, Perry is just pitching out of his mind. I've never seen... Gaylord Perry pitched this well in my life, even when he was young, and he's old in this game. Frank Isbell works a walk, and that brings up Parent. And Parent is going to hit potentially a home run. No, he won't. It's going to be a six level asterisk. And then that brings up Patsy Doherty. And now they go to the bullpen. They bring in Mike Stanton, and he hits a ground ball at Todd Cruz. But please make a misplay on this of some kind. He doesn't. Shortstop 3, E31, the guy is perfect today, playing balls hit at it on x -Charts. So we got Jim Mailer for the uh, Mariners. He's going to rip a single off of Walsh to lead off the Mariners' seven. That brings up Todd Cruz, and that's going to be a, a bunt. They're going to probably, they're bunting. And the bunt is good, moves Mailer to second. That's what they did last time, I think. Um, and now Cruz gets a single. This might score Mailer, if I doubt it. All right. Runners at the corners, one out. Um, yeah, we'll keep the corners in. And we're going to deal to Simpson. And that's going to be a bunt, and it's caught. So that's two down. And Manny Castillo up, and he's getting a single and knocking in a run. That's unbelievable. Man, I should not pitch to Manny Castillo with Big Ed Walsh, obviously. And then there's a ground ball to Isbell, who thankfully is a one at first. But we're now down two to one, and now we only have two innings to get that run when it took us like five or six to get the other run we got. So Altizer leads off the top of the eighth with a single. He's also... 80%, uh, but I'm going to just let Bertel hit because he's three for three. And now, you know, I, I now that's a mistake. He's hit the ground ball at second base two, and he makes the double play. I can't win for losing here. And then Dr. White flies out. We got one more inning to try to get one stinking run off the 82 Mariners. And that's and maybe more, but at least one. So, and no, now it's got to be two because this just hit a home run off Big Ed Walsh. You're witnessing unlikely history here. I don't think that this really would happen in real life, but who knows. Al Cowens is going to hit a ground ball. A, the Mariners now have a three to one lead on us. Rick Sweet is up. He is going to line out. And that brings up Jim Mailer. And Jim Mailer's out, but now we have got to go to work. We got to get two runs off whoever the Mariners have out there now. St still standing and Atz is up against him and he strikes out. Not the way to start to get two runs. Owens is up. And Owens is going to ground out. So now we're down to our last out and needing two runs off the 82. I want to reiterate the 82 Mariners. Cole is up and he's out. And look at that. The 1909 White Sox lose a best of three series, two games to one, to the lowly Mariners. Nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Very unlikely, I got to say. Walsh went eight. He gave up eight hits, three earned runs, and struck out eight. Stanton got the win because Perry left with a tie game. And there's the uh, box score for the batters. Unreal. 
All right, well, if you enjoyed that, and I didn't, uh, leave a uh, like below, leave a comment. What do you think? Was this really uh, the way the series should have gone? <laughs> and, but for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.